All right, welcome back everyone to Nails by Sora. Thank you for joining me tonight for a new manicure. And as you can see, you're joining me already in progress and I'm actually going to take you in um, or along the process of me doing my left hand because um, there's going to be some hand lettering in it and I want to show you with my dominant hand instead of with my non-dominant hand, which is what I usually do. Um, I don't know if anyone has any problems if you use um, the Velvet Matte Top Coat by Madame Glam, but it seems to, because the neck of the bottle is clear, um, I tend to get chunkies in it because it's partially curing the liquid that's around the neck of the bottle. Um, I don't know, this is the only bottle I've had um, I don't know if anybody else is having that issue, but it's a bit annoying. But anyway, what we're going to be doing today is the trending, I don't know if it's trending anymore at the moment, but um, I've seen it quite a lot, especially, see, look at that. Um, especially now that we're getting into um, Valentine's Day, the neon sign nail Art. So I'm going to be doing that. Um, I'm starting out with a semi-transparent black and I've done uh, three coats just because I wanted to build it up slowly and um, try to limit the risk of um, it wrinkling in the lamp. Um, and now I'm trying to go over it with the velvet matte top coat but I'm getting little bits of partially cured gel on top. Um, usually when that starts happening, I go in with a lint-free wipe and I try to clean around the neck, inside and out. And hopefully that will take care of the issue for now. Um, but like I said, I'm using velvet matte top coat because I'm going to be doing uh, some hand lettering and some designs over top the black. And I don't want the um, inhibition layer, the sticky layer to make the color start to bleed. I want nice sharp lines. So since um, I don't want to wipe the inhibition layer because then I don't want to have trouble ha uh, with the base coat and top coat sticking um, so since Velvet Matte tends to have somewhat of a resistance to it, it's porous, um, it's less likely to cause problems with subsequent layers on top um, not gripping properly. So that's where we're at right now. I'm going to finish putting on the Velvet Matte Top Coat. And then we're going to get into, well, I'm going to cure. And then we're going to get into the design. If I can get rid of these little pieces of semi-cured gel. That would be lovely. All right, so we're good to go. Uh, the shiny part is just from down around the cuticle where I didn't get um, the top coat too well. But I'm just wiping it with a little bit of alcohol just to make sure it's completely clean. And now I'm going to go in and do this design with white gel paint. Um, I do want to take this time to once again thank everybody for stopping by. If you can please, while I've still got your attention, hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell so that you're notified whenever new videos are available. And definitely, if you are so inclined, give this video a like. I am going to put some acetone into my little dish just so I can clean off my brush in between. The design is all going to be done with white and then we're going to go over it with uh, different uh, jelly colors so that it pops on the uh, white and fades off into the black. So I thought on my thumb I would do some flowers and as I'm sure most of you, if not all of you, are aware, neon signs 
gen are con um, constructed with tubing. So I'm going to try to create that tubing effect with um, the negative space in between. So I've got the center of the flower, and now I'm going to go around it with the petals. And it's always good to have your design go off the sides of the nail because then it gives it a little bit more realism and a little bit more of interest to the eye if it's going so that your eye gets led around the entire nail. It's not just stuck in one spot, like the nail is containing the design. It begins somewhere off the nail and continues back onto the nail and then goes off again. Okay, so we've got one flower there. I'm gonna do another one over here, I think. So for my brush, most of my brushes that I use are by this Japanese company, Cocoist. Um, I find the quality is superior and also the style of the um, handle is very comfortable. It's not too long and I like that it's easy to grip at the base. So I have all the information linked down below as always in the description box. And if you have any comments or questions, concerns, suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below and I will do my best to answer them. If you can hear that, that is my lovely Soleil begging for my attention. Yes, baby. And try to clean up the center of that a little bit. All right, so I'm going to cure that and then we're going to get into the lettering on these four fingers. So since we are doing Valentine's Day, I'm going to be spelling out, or attempting to spell out, love. And I want them to kind of connect from each finger. So first I'm going to do the letters, and then I'm going to connect them. And I'm going to be very ambitious and do script, maybe. Prepare for a lot of erasing. That's the L. I find most of the time when I'm working on designs, if I don't think about it too much, it tends to come out a little bit better. So when I hesitate and I get very um, worried about it, so to speak, concerned about perfection, that's when things end up going sideways.
E. So then to connect it, I'm going to try to line it up. Okay. And then this is going to go down here. I smudged it. Smudgekins. And this is going to come down here. This is going to go up here. And this is going to go this way. All right, cure. So I'm just going to put in some additional embellishments. So these are my glass colors. They're all by Madame Glam as huge. And I'm going to use them in some, configura some configuration on the nails. Um, I think I'm gonna do three different colors on the flowers. The hearts will probably be all in red and then different colors each for the letters. So I think I'm going to start with the thumb. I'm gonna to try to use the bottle brush uh, because I don't want to have to decant um, any of the colors, but if I have to, I will. So I'm not gonna go over the entire nail. I'm just going to go over the, um, the flowers. And have it kind of go a little bit beyond to give that glow. Got an itch on my ear. Don't know if I'm getting the effect that I want with the bottle brush. Now it's gonna look a little bit weird at first because obviously you've got the glossy on top of the mat. Uh, but I want to try something because I'm not sure I'm getting the um, the look that I'm going for. So I'm going to mix is this space. That's top coat. I'm going to mix some base with my neon pigments and see if it comes out any better. I think that's actually working better because you can see it a little better on top of the black. 
with the glass colors, you're not really seeing it at all. So I'm going to take off the first one and continue with a different color since I moved the blue over. So let's go with the orange. I'm gonna take some more clear coat. And actually, I think I'm gonna flash this so that it doesn't move. I wanna take some of the pigment out from the center. Kinda of dull that down a little bit. All right, so I've gone and mixed the rest of my colors and I'm just going to lay them out, lay them in how I think they would look best. So I'm gonna start out with this electric green and put it over the L. And then I'm going to continue on with subsequent nails, flash curing in between, um, and then do the hearts. And then we will finish off this hand with a base coat and a top coat. All right, so I finished the design on all my nails. I went and did a full cure. Now I'm going to go in and base coat before top coating, and then this hand will be done.
So that's going to be the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I want to thank everybody for joining me. Um, if you have any comments or questions, please put them down in the comment section below. Um, I put some cuticle oil on. Now I'm just cleansing my nail from the oil. And um, that's going to be it. Please give me a like and a subscribe and hit that notification bell and I will see you in the next video.